men who require surgery for benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH, likely have concerns regarding sexual side effects that may impact their sexual functioning. However, recently published in the European Urology Focus Journal is a systemic review and meta-analysis finding that erectile function appeared unaffected by most surgical procedures for BPH. What is BPH? One of the most prevalent conditions among older men is BPH which is an enlarged prostate, with side effects such as urinary urgency and frequency and nocturia or frequent nighttime trips to the bathroom, disrupting sleep. These symptoms can result in quality of life issues for older men. BPH treatment can include lifestyle modifications, medication therapy for mild to moderate symptoms, and surgical interventions for men with more severe symptoms. Surgical intervention for BPH is primarily used to reduce the progression of BPH as well as improve a man's quality of life. However, surgical treatment for conditions such as BPH can have risks such as sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction and BPH surgery. A common adverse side effect of BPH surgery is retrograde ejaculation, RE. RE happens when semen from a sexual climax goes into the bladder instead of through the penis. As a result, little to no semen is ejaculated, which is known as a dry orgasm. If BPH surgery affects a man's sexual functioning, RE is the one impacted the most. But, if surgical procedure is minimally invasive, there is a lower risk of RE associated with this type of surgery. For this study, researchers did a systematic literature review assessing the most up-to-date evidence on BPH surgery's impact on a man's sexual function. Included in this study were 151 studies of more than 20,000 men. The researchers found that of 48 randomized controlled trials of more than 5,000 men, there were no statistically significant changes in the International Index of Erectile Function 5 score versus baseline for transurethral resection of the prostate TURP. TURP is a laser procedure and is considered a minimally invasive procedure. However, researchers found a higher rate of RE after TURP. There have been newer minimally invasive therapies for BPH, which include the following. 1. Prostatic urethral lift or pull. This procedure separates lobes of an enlarged prostate to make the urethra wider, helping men with better ease of urinating. 2. A urologist inserts an instrument into the urethra to help open the channel between the urethra and prostate. 3. Convective water vapor energy ablation. This procedure provides rapid and durable improvements in BPH symptoms and preserves erectile and ejaculatory function. 4. The treatment is done in an office or hospital using oral pain medication. Aquablation. This procedure is safe and effective that uses a robotic method for removing prostate tissue using the power of water. Men are usually treated with aquablation in a hospital under anesthesia. The procedure takes about one hour and does require a hospital stay overnight. Prostatic artery embolization. This procedure is performed by an interventional radiologist who will use X-rays and other advanced imaging to help them see inside the body to treat BPH. For years, TRUP has been considered the gold standard for treating BPH. But, considering its possibility of creating higher rates of RE, men should be counseled appropriately regarding which BPH treatment is best for them. And now that more BPH treatments are available for men with moderate to severe BPH symptoms, providers can support men by assisting them in selecting an appropriate treatment to help them reach BPH recovery.